Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm going to run a quick video for you. Um, in this video, I'm going to show a video uh, from Tuesday night of a female that ovulated for us. Um, right now it's Thursday night. I'm just getting some cleaning done, some feeding done, um, changing waters, uh, stuff like that, trying to catch up on everything. But anyways, I hope you guys are staying safe tonight. Um, I actually probably won't post this video until the morning. Um, but stay safe tonight and then we'll see you guys in the morning. Shooting a quick video for you guys. I'm going to add this into my uh, video this upcoming uh, weekend. It's Tuesday night and we got a big ovulation from this girl right here. So sorry for the messy cage. So in case you're wondering what an ovulation is, that's what it looks like right there. Bam. So this is a backup male I put in there because uh, the other male was starting to uh, not show some interest. So this is a lipstick sun glow male. And this is a sun glow female. And uh, the, the other male that was in with her is a pastel dream monster tail hypo arabesque. So we'll see what happens, but I honestly think uh, this guy's gonna be the the sire uh, to the litter. So he's been locking up with her multiple times right before this ovulation. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good week. I'll have some more content for you um, when I release this uh, this weekend. See you guys later. Right here we have the cow sun glow female um, that ovulated on Tuesday night. It's now uh, Thursday night. And uh, I pulled the male because uh, she for sure ovulated. And once once the female ovulates, that's a done deal. Either the male got the job done or he didn't. Um, so no sense in keeping him in there when I know for sure um, that she ovulated. You guys might wonder why she's in, uh, in an FB90 right now. Might get some hate on that, but the reasoning I put her in here is because I had her in the Freedom Breeder 66-4 and she started rubbing her nose. And I wasn't going to breed her um, this season because she gave us a litter uh, last year. But she started swelling. Uh, she started having some pre-swelling and rubbing her nose. And uh, so to get her from stop, you know, to stop rubbing her nose, I put her in here and she kept cruising around, cruising around. And as soon as I put the male in, um, he started breeding right away and she chilled out. And not too long after that, um, she ovulated. So it's not as simple sometimes as giving the female a year off. Uh, sometimes they, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna go anyways. And in my opinion, it's better to get a litter rather than um, slugs. So I know the slugs are more difficult to pass through because they're more sticky. You know, I guess the babies are more lubricated coming out. So you're more likely to, to have a female get a slug stuck in her and that could potentially kill her. So try and, you know, if she's gonna go, obviously I'm gonna put a male in there. And, and uh, luckily I did. Hopefully, you know, hopefully he got the job done, we'll see. And uh, as far as this nose rub goes, I caught it um, soon enough. It's gonna heal up, no problem, probably after one or two sheds. I don't see it being uh, any kind of an issue. And obviously if it did turn into an issue, um, she'd be going to the vet. And I also have some uh, topical antibiotic ointment that uh, I did get from the vet that I can use on that as well. So we'll see how it goes and then I'll offer her some food after she has her um, post ovulation shed. So I'll keep you updated on that, on that girl right there. Real quick, I'm gonna show you guys this Paradise Jungle female that we're raising up. She's 2017, picked her up from New World Dragons. Gonna be one of my favorite projects to work on down the line. Hopefully the camera's uh, picking up the color for you guys, but she's incredible. 
and she wasn't the nicest snake um, while I was raising her up and now she's finally starting to chill out and uh, with that being said about 95% of boas in my experience will chill out uh, with age I don't know if they gain some confidence or whatever the case may be but I don't usually handle one boa particularly more than the other boa um, if there's a baby that's uh, more aggressive or defensive I don't handle it more to try and get it to calm down or anything like that um, I noticed just over time uh, with proper care and proper feeding they seem to just mellow out um, now I'm sure it probably wasn't always that way with we're so many generations into um, with these boas in captivity that's probably helped out quite a bit but I see that kind of stuff on Facebook and on social media a lot where people are worried about their boa being defensive uh, in my opinion just give it you know give it some time don't try and over handle it um, you know and you might get stuck with one that's you know defensive or whatever but it makes it more interesting for me to be honest with you <laughs> but I understand it's probably not everybody's case somebody who just wants a pet or whatever uh, just you know just one pet they want it to be a calm snake so with that being said I'd probably ask the breeder um, for one of the calmer babies um, out of the litter one that hasn't been uh, very defensive um, and probably when you first get it it might be defensive just because it's a whole new situation let it settle in and get situated before handling it and stuff like that but yeah that's just my take on it i just give them space uh, take proper care of them and this girl she used to want to bite me all the time you know now not so much i can take her out no problem and really excited about raising her up and seeing kind of what we can do with the paradise project in the future This right here is a female hypo jungle, 100% heifer call albino. And uh, she was a potential uh, holdback. And I ended up, um, we ended up letting her go. And she is the last boa here that will be shipped out. Uh, customer has already paid and everything and she's just waiting on good weather so she can get shipped out obviously the holidays too we're not going to ship during the holidays but yeah so uh pretty cool female right there and uh i think the customer is going to be pretty pumped to have her so that's, that's going to wrap up the video for us over here i gotta finish cleaning and feeding uh, as always, I uh, appreciate you guys, you know, hoping to grow the channel and uh, share some more information, some stuff that I know and that I've learned uh, so far along the way. And I uh, hope you guys have a safe um, and successful uh, 2021. I'll see you guys later.